Hello, my name is Steve Levins and I'm here with Devron to talk about soil sampling. Before we begin, we will be having a more in-depth webinar about soil sampling. So if you would like to learn more about soil sampling, click on the link below to register. Choosing the right level of soil sampling. Once you have decided to soil sample, there are a few different methods to consider. It is important to choose one that will supply you with the most accurate resolution and at the most economical rate possible for your farm business. There are four main types of soil sampling to consider. Each will give you a different resolution of data depending on which you choose. The first method I will be speaking about will be bulk soil sampling. Bulk soil sampling provides a low cost, generalized look at the soil fertility in a field. Fields are divided into 25 acre sections and a composite sample is collected in each area. The result will allow you to determine the most appropriate fertilizer rate for that field and allow you to spread that flat rate across the entire field. Bulk soil sampling does not separate the soil based on variability, texture or fertility, but can be sufficient for uniform soil types to determine average fertility levels in your field. The second method I will be speaking about today is grid mapping. Grid mapping is a more intensive approach that targets specific locations in a field where a separate soil sample is taken and sent to the lab. GPS coordinates are logged for these locations and allow for detailed maps to be produced with the results. Growers can choose a one acre, two and a half, five or even a 10 acre grid package based on the intensity they would like to sample the field at. The more intensive the grid, the more data can be extracted from the field, which can allow for more detail and precision in the resulting maps and recommendations. Two and a half acre grid sampling has become the most common type of grid mapping used, but a five or a 10 acre grid can also be effective. Grid mapping is your start to being able to identify soil variability in your fields. The third method I'll talk about today will be zone or polygon sampling. Polygon sampling utilizes polygons or zones which are drawn to identify different soil types, different topographies, yield variability, drainage, fertilizer applications, and even the grower's knowledge of the field. This information is all used to create management zones within the field, which are sampled and managed separately. Using multiple data layers to create these zones will help create the highest quality zones possible for your fields. Polygon sampling is done to obtain a better understanding of variability in a field. It uses the information gathered to determine specific nutrient levels within each polygon, which can then be used to determine a specific application rate for each separate polygon. The smaller the polygons, the more variability can be captured within a field. The fourth method I would like to talk about is sampling with soil sensors. Sensors are a new method of sampling which capture a variety of soil characteristics such as soil texture, soil nutrients, and soil moisture all at the same time. Cores are also collected to validate and calibrate the sensor while at the field. A couple of common types of sensors used commercially are electromagnetic machines such as EM38 sleds or Varus, and the more popular method is soil optics which measures the natural radiation given off by the soil. There are several benefits to using sensors for soil sampling. They capture the whole field's soil, texture and variability as well as the moisture and nutrient levels throughout the field in one intensive scan. Other data that can be captured is topography and drainage which can help identify the entire field's soil health. If you're looking for the most intensive method of soil sampling, sensors are the tool of choice. Thank you for taking the time to listen. If you would like to learn more, feel free to join our upcoming webinar by clicking the link below. Until then, please give us a like and subscribe as we will continue to release more agronomy related content. If there is a topic you would like covered, feel free to leave it in the comments. Once again, I'm Steve Levins from Devron and I thank you for watching.